Um, I'm going to say a few words, and then uh, Lieutenant Julie Johnson, uh, to my left, who's uh, commander of the major crimes units, is going to say a few words. Uh, and joining us, of course, are uh, Chief Frank Lamone up here, and uh, Sergeant uh, Herbie Sharp, who's uh, the supervisor on the uh, on the case. Uh, today, we're announcing that uh, two individuals uh, have been identified uh, who are uh, responsible for the exchange of gunfire. Uh, that resulted in the death of uh, Sean Reeves. Uh, one of the suspects is in custody. Uh, one is being sought. Uh, in a police review of the case, uh, and from what we know from his coaches in public schools, uh, Sean Reeves uh, did nothing uh, to warrant losing his life. His family did nothing to warrant the losing of their son. Uh, his friends did nothing to warrant this loss, nor did this uh, community. Uh, this is not a typical profile of violence we have in the city. Uh, our efforts uh, are focused strongly on dealing with the reentry population that comes back, 125 each month from prison, uh, who account for some 80% of the gunfire as victims and perpetrators in the city, uh, nor, uh, nor does it relate to uh, narcotics activity that is uh, most typically involved uh, in gunfire in our city. Uh, we remain committed to interventions around reentry populations and aggressive long-term narcotics enforcement with our partners. We remain committed through the patrol division uh, to crime suppression to seek out, uh, seek out guns. Perhaps um, one thing, though, is relevant here. Uh, that if we are going to stop as a community, as a state, as a nation, this pipeline into violence. Uh, the things that supports Sean had in his life at Hyde High School, it is AAU coaches, uh, adults who stood up and spent time with these young people, and to hopefully accomplish what we seek to do in the New Haven Public School District, and which Sean will not have a chance to do, which is to go on to college and become a contributing member of our community. Um, I would also, before I ask Lieutenant Johnson to come up, like to acknowledge the uh, community's support in this initiative. Uh, Lieutenant Johnson is going to brief you on the event. On Wednesday, August 10th, at approximately 9.20 p.m., the New Haven police officers heard gunfire in the area of George and Day Streets. Officers arrived at the location and found Sean Reeves, suffering from gunshot wounds. He was taken to an area hospital where he has subsequently died. Sean Reeves was 16 years old. An investigation has been ongoing with the help of the community. It has been led by Sergeant Herb, Herb Sharp and Detectives Christine Cuddy, along with Nicole Mutal and Wayne Bullock. This investigation has developed quickly. Witnesses confirm that a large fist fight occurred in the area of George Street and Day Street. During the fight, Owen Lair pulled out a handgun and fired it multiple times into the large crowd. Javon Haley then returned fire at Lair. Two types of shell casings were found at the crime scene. We believe that Sean Reeves was a victim of the senseless act of violence that occurred when these two young men chose to settle their differences by opening fire on a crowded street in New Haven. Early this morning, Javon Haley was arrested. He was charged with criminal possession of a firearm, criminal use of a firearm, uh, carrying a pistol without a permit, and reckless endangerment first degree. Uh, he had a $500,000 bond and was arraigned uh, this morning. We are seeking Owen Lair for manslaughter, criminal use of a firearm, unlawful discharge, uh, carrying a pistol without a permit, um, and we are actively looking for Lair at this time. Um, we appreciate any information from the community as to his whereabouts, and all information will be kept confidential. Before we take questions, I just want to also uh, acknowledge the chief and the department, uh, the hard work they do each and every day um, for an awful incident. Uh, we can be small comfort to the family that's suffered this tragic loss. The best thing we can do is what these officers did in promptly resolving the case. I'm sure, the Lieutenant uh, would be glad to answer any questions. 
Um, at this time, we believe that he was not the target of the of the gunshots, and so uh, I think that manslaughter is a better fit for the charges. Do you know what did the uh, two individual guns may have been the one that, that ultimately killed him? We cannot answer that at this time. Thank you. Can I have all of this? If you want after, I'll give you the whole. You could just look at the dates. We do. Our investigation leads us to believe that we believe that Owen Lair was responsible for the death of Sean Reeds. We're not going to comment about them. Oh, we don't have any information at that time regarding that. Uh, we don't have any information on that. Like I said, just I mean, it obviously is two days into the investigation. We are, you know, proud of our investigation that we were able to, in in two days, make two arrests on this uh, incident. But there is still a lot of information that we're we're trying to figure out. And the, uh, the warrant is pending for uh, Mr. Lair. We are currently seeking him. Uh, if we find him, he will be arrested. Uh, on a warrant or on something? We're seeking him. I do, I have all that, so if you want to just, after, you can just get them. Um, we're not going to comment no, on that right now. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs>